Hey guys, Rorius here. Welcome back to Fallout 4. So, in the previous episode, we went into the glowing sea. We waded through the radiation. <laughs> and uh, we found Virgil. Uh, and Virgil has directed us to this green tick corp. <laughs> What's the hell is it called? Green tech genetics. Uh, where we will find a courser to kill. What was that? I do remember that this is full of, is it gunners? Yeah, gunners who have been killed. Uh, and dirty army helmet. <laughs> Basically, yeah, the gunners are like another gang. I don't know if you can side with them. As in, when I say side with them, I mean like become friendly with them. The courser's uh. on the second floor. Kill on sight. Send reinforcements to the lobby in case there are more. Right, yeah, so no, that's right, the gunners, I think, I think this area was being sweeped by synths and a courser. What's that? How does this work? How did that work now? I, f I forget if the gunners were already here or if the, if the synths were already here and one or the other decided that they wanted to stop the others. <laughs> you know, there was one, one who was already here and the other who came in and was like, they have people here, or they have stuff here. We want it. <laughs> I'm inclined to say that the gunners were already here. I just remember this being a really tough battle. Battle in which I'd be helped if I had dog meat on my side, but <laughs> keep forgetting to go back and get him. All right, this is where it begins. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> not bad. Yeah, there's a ton of robots and uh, automated security and stuff like that. Huh? I'm gonna have to contend with. Oh, what? <laughs> I should get mods that make the power armor more usable. What the? Don't, don't move. Nope. Oh. Ooh. Oh god, nope. They have fusion cells on them. Not this guy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I feel like I'm back at the start of the game again. <laughs> As I said, like, I remember this being a tough battle. And there are automated turrets that I should, I should, uh, convert to my cause. That's right. That always happens as soon as you walk in this room. Oh god, tarts. Okay, let's just run. Oh, what the fuck? What's going on down there? How many are we dealing with? Computer. I know there's a computer around here. Oh, I see it. I see the computer. Here it is. Is yeah, you can follow the cables and find the computer. Turret control. They're currently engaging target me. <laughs> Deactivate. There we go. Okay. I wish I could hack these as well. 
Oh, there are more turrets from a different, uh, from a different computer. Okay. Okay, good to know. Oh, they came out at the perfect time to see me. That looks scripted. What? What the? Are you kidding me? You're freaking kidding me. Who's there? Get <laughs> That's what I've. People have told me in the past. That's how they play. Uh, this game and other Fallout series on master difficulty is they just play explosives, mines, run backwards, dropping mines <laughs> as you go. Apparently, that's how you do it. The courser is now on the third floor. Reports of the second intruder in the east wing near the courtyard. <laughs> yeah, we're the second intruder. You feel kind of bad for the gunners in this because they're like. They're just, they're just trying to keep their stuff they've been looting here. <laughs> Ooh, cherry. <laughs> the freaking synths. Like, they're looting, and that's, that's not good, but it's fine because it's Fallout. Then, the freaking Institute, out of nowhere, starts freaking attacking them. And then, while they're trying to deal with the Institute, me. Huh? Some random comes in and just freaking ruins their day. Mm -hmm. Hey. God's sake. What? The amount of times it's just like a little scripted event of them like popping out right as you arrive. So infuriating. Huh? Yay! Kill both of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, there's, there's an example of the glowy effect working quite well. Massachusetts. Surg yes. Surgical journal. Permanently inflict plus two limb damage. What? I like how he sees me. And when he goes into caution, instead of investigating where I am, he runs upstairs. You can lean sort of. You can do that. Don't do anything stupid. Damn it. Didn't really work the way I wanted it to, but that's all right. I think the barricades, stairwells, and hallways. If you haven't already, I think the red dots on my map were these turrets upstairs. They're not moving at all. Ooh, a not so cool glass of Nuka Cola. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. When I see all the Nuka Cola in this. I just took a bowling pin. Uh, but I see a glass of Nuka Cola in this. It does genuinely make me want to get a, a glass of Coke. Which is. That's your classic, like, subliminal. Oh my god, my hair. Uh, like, subliminal. <laughs> subconscious marketing systems. The likes of Coca Cola. And I guess, theoretically, by extension, Nuka Cola utilizes. Yeah, shh. <laughs> Let's hack this. Okay. We've got two options. Close, close, or close, or clear. It's close. <laughs> nice. Turret control. I wish you could turn them on the people. But no, you don't, the only option is to deactivate. I guess we're deactivating them. 
Oh, I saw someone. Yeah, I saw people upstairs. One of them's got a freaking rocket launcher. That was a cryo mine. Huh. Ooh, unyielding metal right arm. Plus three to all stats when you're at 25% or less health. Right. <laughs> I just realized I have a metal left arm, but a leather right arm. <laughs> and the metal left leg as well. <laughs> They're way better. We've lost contact with sectors two and four. Sweet. What's in here? Oh, explosives box. Mixture. It was, it was, uh, trapped. Thankfully, I took no damage. Because I was ducking, I think. Ooh, three frag mines. <laughs> it's a nice little room in here. Sorry, when I sneak in games like this, I tend to find myself talking quieter. As if to stay quiet and not be seen or heard. <laughs> nope, just started raining outside. Apologies for any rain noise in the background. Like it's it's getting heavy real fast. <laughs> yeah, so I have these cryo mines now. They could be interesting to try out. But I think they only freeze, they don't do damage. Well they do some damage, but not a lot. Who? Huh? Oh god. What? We're hot! God damn it. What? Okay. Okay, critical hit. Vaporize him. Nope. Ah, oh, I didn't vaporize him. Damn it. Don't move. Don't move, soldier. Man, that does like no damage. Well, it doesn't blow their heads off like I'm used to. Don't move, soldier. I think when they hit him, it's like doing shit all. Oh, oh, I flinched so hard at that. That's not what I meant to do. I need to um, sneak up on that guy with a rocket launcher, blow his head off before he knows what hit him. <laughs> oh my god, the <laughs> What was I saying? <laughs> he totally reversed it. Roll reversal. Don't move, soldier. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fucking perfect. I made the guy with the rocket launcher. <laughs> Put his hands up. <laughs> oh dear, it's too good. Too good. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see if I can. Don't move, soldier. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I have zero integrity. I have zero honor. <laughs> like, tell him not to move. Immediately shoot him in the head. <laughs> the fact that he just, like, staggers and he's just like, oh! <laughs> It kind of just adds to the humor of the whole situation. Right, let's turn these turrets off. The last of the turrets, I believe. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I found five. 
Uh, there are four options apart. There we go. <laughs> it was the first one I tried. Turret control. Uh, oh, they're oh, they're actually deactivated. Oh. Huh. Okay. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I guess if you're running through here, killing them. Fall the, back the to noise the position. Makes, the course is nearing the elevator. Makes more sense. But the way I do it, where I go really slow and I sneak right through, it like makes no sense because just suddenly there's a there's a big old firefight, and then it's silent for ages. Who's there? Mm. Okay. Uh. Quite a powerful machine gun. I wasn't using this for ages because I kept running out of ammo. But now that I'm out of ammo for everything else, this actually has ammo. Don't do anything stupid. Damn it. By trying to pacify, I lose my stealth edge. Oh god. Oh, he's got a star next to his name. I doubt I'm gonna be able to pacify him. Okay, let's switch to this. Nope. <coughs> just, just, uh, mutated. There we go. <laughs> That's how they work, apparently. They mutate. Uh, pipe pistol. Nah. Do I have to take it? <laughs> Is there no other option? Fine. So every time, oh my god. Order. Overdue book. <laughs> 200 years overdue. Yeah. Is there anything on this level that I'd want? Nah, it's just a window. Otherwise, inaccessible. Oh. <laughs> I almost didn't see that. <laughs> I'll take that. See, I'm glad I didn't start trying to infiltrate this place, like in the previous episode, because it has been nearly 50 minutes <laughs> of me sneaking through here. Huh? Not gonna set off his own traps, is he? Okay, let's take this. What's ever in here? Whatever's in here. Nice. Cool. Uh, uh, uh. God damn it. Classifier attempt failed. Ah. <laughs> he just set up his own trap. What? Stop right there. God damn it. <laughs> The pacifier just is not working today. Don't move! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't <laughs> shoot. Nice. Ah. It finally worked. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> just kept being like, don't move. <laughs> no way I could pick this. Uh, <laughs> uh, that was fun. Ranks? Sweet. Wonderful. <laughs> uh, spotlight control. They're or they're deactivated apparently. No, one of them is off. One of them is offline, one of them is online. Why does it only have activate lights? Spotlight. This spotlight's destroyed, but there's still a spotlight attached. Online. No intruder detected. That's BS. Okay, it's only the one turret. Deactivate it. Hey! Lock and load! Damn it. You're out of your league, pal! Don't uh, move! Okay, let's just look at this. 
screw uh, mucking around. I kill you for free. Don't move, soldier. Vaporized. Okay, where did my mine land? That is. Take that back, thank you. You're not gonna. Okay. Oh, I'm out of stim packs. Shit. And I am so low on ammo. I'm gonna be out of ammo for when I have to fight the frickin' Corsa. <laughs> Just fucking fantastic. Sorry, I'm being extra, extra, um, vigilant in this area to search everything, because I seem to recall reading that there were fusion cores in here. So I'm like, oh, I must find them. And I'm losing my mind a little bit over the fact that I have not yet got the perk to allow me to uh, pick advanced locks. <laughs> I'm like, ah, what if it's in there? The thing is, I'd need two levels to get that. I need to put one in perception and then get the locksmith one. Oof. <laughs> oh, jeez. Anyway, elevator time. Yeah, it's crazy how much, how different each episode can be of this series. Like, previous episodes was about as long as I've, I've, been, I've been recording about as long this time as I was for the previous episode. Previous episode, we went all the way through the narrow, the, um, the glowing sea. We... Bye. Hacking this is beyond oh. me. Damn, I need master. Yeah, I'd gone right through the glowing sea, spoke to Virgil, dealt with, uh... I don't know, I went round the Death Claw, to be fair. <laughs> went to the C CIT building. I went to Sanctuary, then to CIT building, then to, uh, oh, detected. By whom? Um, fought through the raiders there and got to the, this building in one episode. And then this whole episode has just been me slowly ascending the building. Don't think I can Once pick again, this. Advanced. Oh, here we go. Advanced terminal. <laughs> yes. I can do expert and advanced, but not uh, master. One. Uh, uh, uh. Two. Uh, uh, uh. Three. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Four. Uh, uh, uh. Five. Uh, uh, uh. Is this really how the Sesame, C the Sesame Street thing goes? Six. Uh, uh, uh. Seven. <laughs> Shut up, Ray. <laughs> that joke got old immediately. Eight. Uh, uh, uh. Eight. Eight hacks. Got it. <laughs> open door. Oh. Oh, open this door. Got it. Oh, baby, he's got it. <laughs> Yay, Fusion Core! So I was like looking at possibilities for- ooh, Red X. I was like, oh, I was looking into Fusion Cores because I wanted to know if I could make a longer lasting Fusion Core or something like that. If I could find some way to craft something or find some like... Something to make it a, a renewable resource as opposed to a non-renewable resource. Uh, but it's pretty slim pickings when it comes to trying to have like an infinite source of power cores. Fusion cores. I keep calling them power cores. Okay. I don't know the password. I'm telling the truth. I don't believe you are. Oh God. Please. No. no. Please. 
Yeah. All he had to do was tell me the password. Now, are you going to cooperate? Oh God! Tell oh me. God! Okay, okay, just don't shoot. Jesus. All right, let's hack this. Let's hack this bitch. Oh, there's actually five left. After a full sweep, that's unheard of. <laughs> Unless I've just missed a bunch. Um, I'm gonna have to actually determine this. Oh. Oh, you. Nice. There we go. Oh, that was close. <laughs> okay, open that door. Let me think. You obviously don't know. I should really be rushing to try and help them, but they're gunners. I don't care. There's really nothing in here. Nothing of any particular value. Are you serious? Yay. Might have to use the missile launcher we just picked up earlier. <laughs> to kill this Corso. I'm going to get in there. It's just a matter of time. Tell me the password. Look, I already told you I don't have it. I'll help you find a way in. But listen, we took the girl fair and square. All we want is a little compensation in return. You are in no position to negotiate. Okay, okay, it's just... Let me think. Time's running out. No, please! Wait, you, you, uh, you can... Oh, he's dead. Uh, what weapons do I have? Let's equip... <laughs> equip that missile launcher. Yeah, I keep getting detected. I don't really care. You. They're not gonna do anything until... Come here. Wait, is he talking to me? You talking to me? Get over here. I don't see anyone else here. You must be talking to me. Are you here for the synth? Uh, what synth? I'm here to pick up an order. <laughs> uh... That's not, That's why, I'm not here. why I'm here. If you're not here for the synth, then you're here for me. What do you want? Well, I need to know basis here, and you don't need to, you don't need to know. <laughs> just who is the synth? Just who is this synth anyway? A fugitive, runaway institute property. I'm shutting her down and bringing her back. You, on the other hand, will die like the rest of them. Okay. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna freaking die because I point blank fired a rocket. <laughs> He's using a stealth boy. Um, yeah, I can't see him. The spell's gonna be really hard if I can't see him. And I don't have any other distractions. <laughs> I like having a missile launcher. Oh, he healed himself. That bastard. He's freaking healing himself. I don't even. I didn't know he could do that. Uh, let's just wait for his. Let's just get a stealth boy to run out, and then we'll find him more full on. I remember this being the case last time, actually. He has some sort of ability to heal himself. Which sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, because they talk big about these forces, but they're actually not that hard to kill. Um, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> uh, we'll go with grenades, and we'll go with... Um, go. He did. <laughs> Corsu chip. Thank you. Fusion cell. I'll even take the uniform. And uh, he has just a crappy institute pistol. I am overburdened. 
I am overburdened. And that's the synth that he was talking about. So, I wish I had dog on me. That way I could put some of the heavy shit on him. <laughs> okay, one second. I'll just loot these guys real quick. Ooh, a sweet roll. <laughs> Hello, K198. He, he deserved to die. I know you're not here for me, but I can't get out. Not on my own. I'm going to have to trust you to help me. All right. Um, <laughs> if you knew me, you'd think you'd probably think otherwise. Uh, promise I or? promise not to hurt you. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? The guard put the password in a toolbox over there under the stairs. Use it to gain access to the terminal and open the door. This is the, like, all the stuff about the synths is one of the reasons why, like, I always find myself hating myself. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, damn it. <laughs> all this shit I want. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I, I picked up uh, some armor. Oh, it's got less shock, but it's got way more physical protection. But I picked up that fat man, so I'm going to be overburdened no matter what. The next password. There we go. I shouldn't have bothered. I should have... I actually might have needed the password. Alright, I think that's everything in here, isn't it? Turn the elevator on. I mean, yes, do that. But then also, security door. Open door. There we go. You're free. Thank you. I don't know what to say. Yeah, like, I'm one of those people, I'm a... <laughs> if this happened in the real world, um, don't have to say anything, you're welcome. You don't have to say anything. You're welcome. My institute designation is K198, but I prefer Jenny, so yes, I'm a synth, if you hadn't already guessed. I knew they'd send a courser, I just didn't think you'd find me so fast. I think I would have lost him too, but then I was captured by these mercenaries. And all this happened. Thanks again for your help. I'm gonna look for supplies before heading out. And before you ask, no, I don't need any more help. The Commonwealth is unforgiving. I need to make it on my own or I'm dead. Maybe we'll meet again under better circumstances. I hope we do. Yeah, so as I was about to say before, like if this happened in the real world, I would be someone who would be known as a synth Sympathizer. A synth sympathizer. That sounds wrong in my head. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. That would be me I all don't over. Need your help anymore. I know, I know. I'm looting. <laughs> I'm just looting. Um, so, yeah, I would. <laughs> I would definitely help synthetic humans survive. <laughs> uh, but that's just me go out onto the roof because I might still be able to fast travel <laughs> this game is way more lenient with that kind of shit yeah oh god caravan distress call um as I was saying before the loading screen started this game compared to a lot of other Bethesda games like most Bethesda games from the past is way more lenient <laughs> than uh, any of the previous ones. When it comes to things like being overburdened. Like in some of the previous games by Bethesda, uh, if you were overburdened, you couldn't move at all. Like it was just, you were 100% stuck to the floor. Uh, let's see if I can fast travel. I can. Oh wait, no I can't. Wait, yes I can. Oh no, I can't fast travel because I'm way, I'm too heavy. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> well, not good, but good. See, if I had power armor, it wouldn't be such a big deal, or it wouldn't be such a big deal as well if I had dog meat. I probably should have told her about the uh, railroad. I don't know. Even though I'm going to be killing them later. <laughs> oh, I leveled up. I didn't even realize. Damn it! I can already get the nuclear physicist one. But I want to get lock picking. <laughs> Shit. It's a problem with trying to broaden your 
your uh, style. I like JRPGs, which just let you carry everything. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna drop that fat man on the floor. I actually already have a fat man, but I'm gonna drop the missile launcher as well. I'm coming back for you guys. Just stay there. Oh, I never nice. went back and got the Grognak the Barbarian in our own home. <laughs> Yay! Now, where the hell's dog meat? Dog meat! Wish I could whistle. In game. Here, boy. <laughs> Shouldn't do that. I'm gonna peek the friggin' mic. You know what? I'm gonna sleep so that people are wandering around and I can see better. Ah, well rested. <laughs> I wish I could get well rested that easily. Oh, he is here. I freaking couldn't see him, even when I was so close to him. Uh, come on, boy. Come on, boy. Time to go. It's time to go. You gonna come with? Come on. Yeah, you got it. I like that Marcy's the only one on defense, so she never gets any downtime. <laughs> She's awake 24-7. I'll take these back, thank you. Alrighty, so I'm gonna leave this here. The next step for the main story mission is to go back to Amari and have the, um, the coarser chip thing analyzed for our future use of it. But I might actually end up doing Brotherhood of Steel stuff next time rather than that. I don't know. Depends on how I'm feeling when I record that. <laughs> but whatever the case, we just had one long episode of traversing, a, a, admittedly, a very tall building. But hopefully it was still entertaining and hopefully that hasn't impeded our progress too much. Because <laughs> I'm trying to be sort of on the ball a bit with the progress. But uh, I keep forgetting bits. I keep forgetting that there are these extra bits that you have to do before you can get to the thing that you need to do. <laughs> like, I didn't- I couldn't remember what you did with the course of chip after this. I suddenly remembered the next mission, well, one of the next missions, as being like what we do immediately, but no, we still have to go get it analyzed. And then something else will happen, probably. We'll probably need to find- get blueprints for something. And then there's the mission that I was thinking of, where we build the thing. <laughs> and then... And then you get to there, and then I forget what happens. I forget how you proceed from that point. <laughs> I'm using vague terms to not ruin anything. Um, but yeah, all that and more coming up soon. If you like what you saw, hit like. If you want to see more from me, then subscribe. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.